Aloha everyone and welcome to another session of DDO Hawaiian style. I am your host Nomad Dog and I am so glad it's Friday. Jeez Louise, what a week. Long week at work, especially long week or long day at work today. And so I'm really glad that I get to no longer have to be at work and get to spend some time playing DDO and hanging out with you fine folks all evening. Um, so I am going to be taking a fairly leisurely evening today. Hey, Void, how's it going? Hope you and Dark Lotus are doing well. Um, but tonight, I am actually going to be heading out to Reaver's Refuge and exploring the whole area. So that means I'm going to look at all the area that's there for the common area where the banker is and all of that. The entrances to the quests, where the uh, stuff is if you decide you want to do dragon touched armor, but nobody does anymore. Uh, we're going to go into the explorer areas and we're going to try to find the rares and uh, just kind of walk around the whole area. That's, that's my goal for tonight is explore all the wilderness areas, explore each of the quests, and ultimately, hopefully... Getting everything that we need in order to flag and run Stealer of Souls. Um, this is a quest chain that I first started playing when uh, when it came out. Uh, this was like end game content, for lack of a better term, because it was one of those things where level cap was twenty. These were level seventeen quests, level nineteen on elite, and. Some people struggled with them. I know we did. Uh, the first time my guild went into Reavers, uh, into Monastery of the Scorpion, to uh, do that quest, it took us over four hours. We went in blind, had no clue what we were doing. But I want to take a more leisurely approach to it tonight. So I'm actually running this on a level 32 tune, and I will be. Uh, just kind of taking my time going through stuff. I, I wanted to do it on a level 32 or a higher level tune, so less chance of dying um, and more chance of just being able to go out and explore the area. Uh, this is the first entry in uh, Forgotten Quests of DDO. Uh, this is going to be a series that I do on occasion on stream where we go to a quest chain or quests specifically that don't get run as often as they used to and just take a look and see how those quests are and um, you know something that a lot of people who have come to the game recently might not have been able to do so uh, that is what we are planning on doing and we're going to be running around out there on my Monk, which is rough and tumble. And so that is my plan for the evening. Um, I'll probably be running all this solo, but I do plan on having a good time and talking with you fine folks and just uh, just exploring. And that's basically what tonight is all about. It's exploring Reaver's Refuge, everything that's out there, and uh, just having fun. So... A way to relax after a stressful week. Uh, our, our network was down six hours today at work, so I got nothing accomplished. So I'm hoping to get something accomplished tonight. All right, Reaver's Refuge. Uh, it's a, a place that is well forgotten in DDO, and a lot of people don't realize that there's a couple different ways to get there. The first way to get there is to talk to this fine gentleman right here, Orban. And when you talk to Orban, he says, Be assured, the dragons of Arganesson are not miserly in their gratitude. I have instructed Captain Agamon to ferry you to Cyber Atoll whenever you require. He waits atop Falconer Spire here in the marketplace. So for those of you who don't know where Falconer Spire is, that is actually the airship tower here in the marketplace. So we're going to run over here. We're going to talk to Captain Agamon. 
and have him transport us to Cyber Atoll. Now there is a gatekeeper here that you can talk to. There is a bellwether bill here that you could talk to and he will actually give you starter gear. Right? And he'll also tell you stuff about things to do. All right, so I'm gonna go talk to Captain Agamon. I'm gonna tell him my name because I have to tell him my name in order for him to transport me out to Cyber Atoll. Now, if you hadn't talked to Orbon before you talked to Captain Agamon, and you say, my name is Rough and Tumble, he's going to say, your name is not on my list. And if your name's not on the list, he will not transport you there. So you can either go back, talk to Captain or, or to Orbon, and then come back and talk to Captain Agamon again. Or if you're on your airship, there is an option. If your uh, airship is equipped with, I forget what it's called, but it's the dude that's floating above the portal. Um, that adds the extra level of transport from the captain. Because you have that first page, which is all the basic stuff, like all the different houses, marketplace, the 12. And then you go, I'd like to go somewhere else. And then it gives you that second list, which includes Orchard, Giant Hold, um, Meridia, all of those. Um, on there, there is one that says Cyber Atoll. And you could choose that. But we're going to go talk to Captain Agamon. We're going to give him our name. And we're going to tell him that uh, we are ready to go. He asked me if I'm afraid of heights. I am not. I am not afraid of heights in the game. Real life, different story. All right. So we will find ourselves up here on an airship. Your standard small airship with your little thing there and not go below deck but you can hang out on the deck you can spirit bind here if you choose to do so um, I don't think many people would uh, but you can and he says here we are cyber toll is right below us Let's see if I can get it. there we go now just walk off the plank don't be nervous the water will break your fall and I'm looking, I can't see anything down. It is dark. And you, it's dark. And you want me to jump off this thing. Okay. All right. So when it's daylight, you can actually see the atoll. But we're going to jump into the abyss. And there you go. You can actually see the outline of the atoll here. And if you just jumped off and did not hit... Uh, did not have feather fall on or slow fall. Um, the moon out. Ah, there's the moon. Nice peaceful. Nice peaceful trip. Where's the airship? There's the airship. All right. So landing on the atoll itself does you no good. Uh, there's nothing there. The entrance to Reaver's Refuge is actually in a crevice in the water. So we're just going to a little faster right so down here you'll find a crevice that says reavers refuge and that will take you into this area here as you can see it's very much like a lot of the stonework that you see out in uh meridia we're going to go over here. We're going to talk to Klaatu first. We're just going to drift over here. He's the Chamberlain. If I remember correctly, Chamberlain should tell you where you go. Uh, the great dragon Turnithir has been expecting you and grants you permission to explore the lair. If you wish anything, food supplies, his tribe will be more than happy to help us. Alright. Servant. So over here, in this area you have a spirit binder you have standing next to a stone of change you have a barkeep you have a potion vendor and then on the other side you have some more folks 
you have a banker, you have weapons broker, armor broker, general vendor, a guide, which will take you back. This used to not be here. Um, but this guide will take you back to um, take you back to Stormreach, and then there's an auctioneer. There's a lot of you know your general stuff that you would expect out here, and so you can come out here and, and take care of all your needs if you need to. Um, there, there are other ways to get out of here, which I'll show you guys as we uh, get ready to leave after we're done. Um, but we're also going to check and see what else is around here. So what I want to do first is I want to go upstairs. Or up this uh, little thing. here, And this will take you to this location here. And lo and behold, look who's sitting here. It's the Storm Reaver. This is the guy that we fight in the Giant Hold raid, who has seen all kinds of action, and uh, if we talk to him, he's going to tell us exactly what's going on out here. So, all right. So the dragon told him we were coming, and Storm Reaver says we're going to want to see him. All right. But apparently now, Sorjak, the bad guy from Tempest Spine, is now a lich. Alright, so we can talk to him. How did he become a lich? He's one of the lieutenants. He fell in battle with the Truthful One, which we end up fighting the Truthful One in the epic Giant Hold Raid. And now the Truthful One uses him as a tool. He's already slain many dragons. He must be stopped. What can I do to help defeat Sorjak? I have to talk to Fear. He's the guard. Uh, he has a plan to stop Sorjak. Makes his home directly above. And uh, he can cast the, the fly spell on us uh, in order to get up there. And so we're going to have the fly spell cast on us. And now we are able to fly. We're going to go up here. And it's in this area right here. So, back in the day, there was a time when people would come in here, get the fly spell cast on them, would enter into part one, murder dragons, okay, there's a bunch of dragons, and he's talking about getting the dragon shard essences to help the feet, and now he'll give us all the information so, Omecrix, Iscariot, Vuthas, Vuthas, Vuthas Jing, Thattergix, Sventask, and Osiridar? Osir Osiridar? Um, so these three, the this one, this one, and this one, you can find those gems here in Reaver's Refuge. These three... Better Gix, uh, this one, and Sventusk. You find these in one of three wildernesses. If I remember correctly, this one's in the orchard, this one's in Giant Hole, and this one is in the desert. And so you need to find three of these in order to uh, talk. end up talking to this guy so you can go in and fight Sword. This is actually the ending part. And not a part we need to worry about right now. So, I'm just going to back up from here. And this guy says, please speak to Thier first. He has vital information regarding Sorjak. So, we get the gems, then we come talk to this guy, and then we go in the wilderness area. No longer have the fly spell on us. Uh, but what people did at one point before they, they uh, fixed it, is people would actually get the fly spell cast on them. And once they had the fly spell cast on them, they would leave this area and they would go down to um, they would go uh, down to Meridia 
go into the raid, the um, the shroud. They go into the shroud raid, and with the fly spell, they were able to fly over the barriers in the first part of the shroud raid. And when they did that, they would go just loot the chests, recall, and then redo it. Because the fly spell lasted for an inordinately long amount of time. So in here, there are three altars. These three altars are used for the crafting of dragon-touched um, armor, which is actually super outdated and nobody ever uses anymore. Hey, Kevin, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. So nobody does those anymore. You do have a mailbox here. And this guy gets you started on... Um, you have to kill Sorjak, and then you can come in here and talk to this guy. And uh, he'll give you the quest to do all this stuff. So for those of you just joining, I am doing a walkthrough of Reaver's Reach. We're exploring right now the common area. And we're getting ready to head to some of the other areas where uh, the quests and things are. So we're actually going to start out here to the north. And so there's three uh, wilderness areas or explorer areas and three quests out here. Okay, why can't I go? All right, I cannot go talk to Alaxia right why not? I have to talk to some. So that was one area. I think the way this is broken down. Okay. Can't talk to her. So I might have to go in a specific order. Or I didn't talk to someone that I'm supposed to. Talk to. And then the third area is on the side of let me see if I can go get into this wilderness area. And if it blocks me again, yeah. Oh no, there's like a weird, okay. So we'll talk to Kin first. I think this is Mount Ray Salon. Okay. I gotta find the Kyber Dragon Shard Essence. And so I have to go to Mount Ray Salon this is enter the kobold is the name of this quest all right so tell me about mount race salon bunch of kobolds and magical field emanating by the essence so we're going to talk we're going to open the portal now we're going to go check out the explorer area so by talking to her she actually gives you the quest and then you step in here and it takes you into the wilderness area. So there are a series of rares in each of these areas. Uh, there's three rares and six explorers. And apparently I've already done 32 of 50 heavy, uh, Jungle surrounds the massive volcano things out. High above. So we're just going to drop down and see what we got. Normally there's like scorpions and other stuff out here. Bats. I hate bats. I've probably mentioned in the past that I super hate bats. So, I am well over level for all of this. So you'll see that a lot of this stuff is just going to die super fast. Uh, but I do want to explore this whole wilderness area. Because there are rares out here. I want to make sure that... Nice one. Remember what the... What's the max out here? 91% XP penalty, so I'm just well over. Um, 50 creatures. So 50 creatures is the most you could do in Reaver's Reach. So I've almost maxed that out. Apparently I was in one of these areas before. 
I was probably in Suwami Garden because I wanted to take some pictures in the area with the shrine. You're I'm a really monk. good at this. Let's see if. So out here on this little hill out here, there's usually or can be a rare, and that rare is a Warforged who would be standing up here if he was active. But he is not. Down they go. Okay. A clear path All right. Leads up to the so now there's this path the that leads up. Let's go. The stench of sulfur is heavy in the air. So now we're climbing up this massive mountain. And there's two ways to go. You can go that way or you can go this way. Uh, I'm going to leave it up to chat. Your guys' choice, left or right. We're going to explore the whole area, but I'll let you guys choose which side first. All right, Kevin said right, so we're going to go right. We'll go explore this area first. And this is actually usually the way that I go when I'm in here. And there is a rare up, and that is to save these, save these uh, prisoners in that cave. Who is? Oh, you're shooting stuff. Oh, I guess you can do a hundred slayer out here. All right, so I freed the Durgar. Open all. And there's a chest. So we're looking for the gems. Isn't this the best part of it? And I did not get the gem I was looking for. But I did get Draconic Runes. These are used in dragon touched armor crafting. Which if I get enough, I will demonstrate to you guys. After we get everything everything done. Try and kill some more dudes. And get to this area, and we gotta cross the, the flaming chasm of death. Of Come on. Come on out. I don't wanna have to throw stuff at you. Don't make me come in there. I'm like, immune to fire. No, I'm not really immune to fire. It's like, there's this giant Kino, shrine if you need it. Then there's this path through the back here, which is kind of like the back door into the place. Should get some more fire elements here. Yep. Fortune favors the bold. All right, we'll head up this way. There are a couple rares in the north area. Well, there's one rare up here in the north area. So this is actually the way to get to the quest entrance. I remember. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess I can the go this way. I guess this is an observation post. So we got four of the six explorer areas. So that is the end of that area. I think I want to go back. And then we'll drop down. I don't want to just drop unexpectedly on those guys. I kind of want to head back and then go back down the pathway over here. All 
right? So we could keep going up this way, or we could drop down this way. We're gonna drop down this way. We're gonna kill some more stuff. I believe there's one more rare. So just above up where we're at now, it's where we were before. And if you're looking for different types of gnolls to kill for gnoll hunter, this is a place where you can go. Yeah. So there's all kinds of twisty turns up here. the entrance there okay. and then there's just a bunch more guys kill how did that even happen it does not look like the rears up and this is the direction we would have come if we had gone left you know you could see the fire thing there but this is the direction we would have come if we had gone left. all right so we've annihilated all of those guys now we're going to go up to the quest entrance. You have discovered the hidden entrance to the volcanic mine. All right, so we're going to step into the volcanic mine. We are going to do this on Elite. Is level 19. I am level 32, so it should not be an issue. So our goal is to find or acquire the Kyber Dragon Shred Essence. And as we get through, there's going to be a puzzle in here that's kind of pain in the butt. But there is, if you look at the wiki, there Kobolds is a path. Are frightened by your intrusion and direct you to speak with their chief. All right, so they want us to speak to their chief. It's this one. locked door. I'm guessing the chief is this one. Let's go talk to the chief. Hello. Here to see the chief. Uh, the chief, this way. Okay, thank you very much. Alright. Easy. All right, you best be gone. The boss will not be happy that you broke in. He protects his shiny with his life. Oops, I shouldn't have said anything about the shiny. All right, I'm just going to intimidate you him. Must seek out the great that is Apparently, my intimidate sucks. Now I got to kill all these poor kobolds. Sorry, guys. Your boss kind of threw you under the bus. These guys are all CR3. Alright, so now I have a key to open up this door over here. More angry kobolds. There is a rush shrine here. There is a lever here. I don't know what it's going to do. Oh, it closes that door. Okay, good to know. Here. 
Kobolds. All right, man. Bad day at the office. Man, I had a bad day at the office today. I'll tell you what. All right. So this one. Go through. The room before you right. is dominated by a totem that resembles the head of a kobold. That is. Perhaps this is the great kobold. That is the great kobold. And we have to go through the kobold. So that is where the quest gets its name from. It's Enter the Kobold. So you have to go through that entry. Come down here. Nothing to fight. As you can see, here is this just entrance. the mouth of the great kobold of Bezit spoke of. Make your way to the belly, and there you will find the big boss. Okay. Let's go find the big boss. Now I gotta find some methods. We are heading to the belly of the cobalt. This place, this part is a little much of a pain in the backside. Um, ignite in front then you get up here, of you as you are assaulted by a host of and then you get locked in. And then a bunch of methods spawn. Once you've killed all the methods, then these barriers will come out. And there's also a frenzied fire elemental. Do I want to actually? And a map. The flames dissipate, allowing you to see. Bunch of junk loot, and we will proceed. Okay. Now we get over here. Ourselves up here. Go up this way. The tapestries of the Kobold tribe are strewn about the cave. These Kobolds are being tainted by the Kyber Dragon Shard essence and need to be eliminated. Tainted Kobolds. That does not sound bad. Here I am, touching the paint of kobolds with my fists. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Beyond Lever. the gate, two kobold guards chatter away, unaware of your intrusion. Oh, you're not going to be unaware now. Can't hit him. Oh, now I can hit him. Cobalt Hunter. What is over here? More tainted kobolds. So there's all these little nooks and crannies, right? Where things are just kind of hidden. So I've gone left. More Warren for the Cobalt. I want to get up, up up there. Cobalt. Wolves. Jump up this way. Not get up there. I get up there. Must know. Maybe I gotta go through this way before I can get up there. I thought maybe I can get up this way, but it's not letting me. Okay, 
we'll proceed this way. Let's see if there's a way back there. Let's see. Oh, it's just passageways. Passageway here. Here. Okay. That's all it shows. It's just those little warnings. All right. So that is a dead end. The wolves. Shaman. Further. The path leads you directly into a nest of kobolds. Clear them out and find the big boss. It's more nest. Oh, apparently more spawn. Clear the nest of Pobos. Okay, and this there is a shrine a here. Good opportunity a shrine. for a rest. And that is how you get up. Oh, gotta go that way. Thank you. We're just gonna kill everybody. So we're brutal like that. We need to get up top so you can pull this lever right here. And there's a chest. So let's see what we got. Find nothing of consequence. Again, random loot gen stuff. So, take a look at our map. We go this way. How am I failing my save? Okay, that was annoying. But we shall continue. That door is locked, so I must have missed a chest or something. All the other levers were pulled, but there's a lever up there that I did not get. So I need to figure out a way to get back up there. So I goofed up somewhere.
pulled this. I guess I did not. And there's an iron key. Apparently I walked right past the key. All right, now I can go down this pathway here. And get to the iron door and it should open now. Okay. More tinker cobalt. Alright, it says I gotta kill nine more tinker cobalt. Poor cobalt. Like all messed up. Okay, that one's across. Cobalt. One Tinta Cobalt left. I'm just killing everything in here. Does it make sense not to? Okay. This barrier dropped. All right. Magical barriers impede your progress. Okay. So this is where the fun part comes in. I always refer to the wiki for this because I am really bad at this puzzle there is a pattern uh the what you have to do is you have to light up these rune these rune things here you have to light those up in every one of these rooms in order to get the uh, thing to go the barrier to go down on the opposite side and the way this works is depending upon which of these little uh, stone things on the ground that you step on it will transport you and it will transport you two forward one right one left it 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 works like a knight in chess and so there is a specific pattern that people have mapped out which i'm going to refer to um, i'm going to share what they have on the wiki um, this is a puzzle that can be used so this kind of tells you uh, a and B are the first two, and then the smaller letters are the crystals that are on the ground. Um, and then there is a specific pattern that they tell you to use, and that specific pattern is this one right here, uh, which is the one that I'm going to follow as I go through uh, go through this. And so there's a hole right up here on the puzzle and explains how to how to do it uh, without using the pattern but i'm going to go ahead and use the pattern just for the sake of simplicity all right so we need to go g e N. all right so first we want to do is we want to light both of these up and so to get to G, we'd step on this crystal here. And that will move us from this spot up to and over one. So it should put us in this one right over here. All right, and that lit up that crystal. So now from G, you want to go to E. And to go to E is going to be this crystal here. Now you have to be careful because you don't want to step on the other crystals and you don't want to unlight these because you got to light up every single one of those. All right, so we're going to go to E. All right, now that we went to E, we're going to go to A. On E, get to N. Make sure I'm facing the right way. All right, there's the end. One, two, three, four. E, one, two, three, four. N is going to be this one right here. 
So we step on this here. Now there is a chest in this room in this quest. So that one is lit up. So now we're on N. And now we want to go to P. I'm facing north. I'm facing north. P is going to be this one right here. E. And light that up. Or do you have to unlight them? No, I think you have to light them all up. Alright. So go to P. Once you get to P, the next one is I. And I, I'm facing north. East. Yeah, I'm looking east on. I come in. There's only three. Yes. Me and I need to go. So I'm just moving me up. And is by itself. This one right here is going to be up. Ah, sh isn't it? Okay. So I don't know if you guys saw, but I messed up and I stepped on this and it closed it off. So now I should be on I. And in I, I should be able to go back. And to do that, I'm facing north. Five. Five. One behind me. Two in front. E should be this one. And now that is relay. And then I is one in the middle. Okay. Okay. So this is why you got to make sure that you don't step on these because you have to make sure that they're all one. So I'm on I. I need to go to R. And to get there. Let's find. R is this one. Right. So now I'm on R. Now that I'm on R. Yeah. And I need to go to L. L is going to be the one in the middle. So it's going to be this one. Right, so that one's lit. So now I'm on L. I need to go to C. One off by itself. C north. One by itself. C is going to be this one here. Alright, now it's lit. Now I'm on C. And we'll go back to I. So that is the one. So back to I. It should look familiar. Once you're on I, then you go to K. K is away from I. This one. It's K. K to Q. This one. Facing north, it's going to be that There. Alright, so this should be Q. And Q, J, get there. Looking at the four in front of me, J is going to be this one. J, it goes to D. It's going to be the one on the far left. D. It's going to go to 
Mm -hmm. On. And then it goes M to F. A single root it's going to be this right here. Place that on. And then it goes H. H is the one in the middle. And then H to O. Small thing. This one. It's O. And then O to M. And then M to T. M is facing them. Comes on the left. And then O. Or M to so it should be on it. And M to gonna be on the R. If I did it right, this barrier should drop. And I am missing one. Used to be a way you could get up to the top. Right, so apparently I missed one and I can see it right here. It is what? So this is S O K. I need to somehow get back to T. I think that's the only one I see that is not. Alright, so I need to get back to K. So you can see this is a pain in the butt. Hey Rayman, how's it going? I, I've always hated this puzzle. All right, now I got to figure out how to get back to K. So let's take a look. I am, so I got I can go T to K, and K is going to be this one right. Here. So I should be able to just go here, light this one up, and then K T should just be this one. Do they all need to be unlit? Alright, so obviously I missed one. And I don't know which one I missed. Those are all there. Yes. This one on the right should be S. That's T. This is X. Why is K not lit? Oh, it's not K. I was messing up. It is the next one down to K, which is G. Alright, let's see how I can get to G. Um, get back to T. Go to M and then M. So, which one was T? Okay, this one is the T. Alright, now that I'm on T, I can go back to M. So, this one. So, this is M. And then we go M to G. Is going to be the middle. Yeah. You have sold the intricate. Okay, gold. now I've gotten it. Now I need Repeat to go back to M. It's going to be this one here, and then from M I need to go to T. And T is in the bar. Okay. All right. So that's the puzzle.
and that is a major pain in the butt for me. Some people are super good at it. I have never spent enough time in here to actually figure out exactly how it works. Um, but that puzzle you have to do in order to progress. There is no way to progress through the quest without completing that. And that was the longest part of this quest. Alright, so I am doing this way over level. And so the end fight is going to be different than you might normally do it if you're at level. But I think nowadays with people in their past lives and their, nuke, their ability to nuke things, I think doing this end fight is probably a whole lot easier than it was in the past. And so what we used to do is we would actually have someone parked up here. And they would be parked up here just in case we died down below in the end fight. And the reason we were worried about that is because in there are a bunch of living spells. There is a djinn and a kobold. And... Uh, the living spells used to nuke people at level when you would go in there, but not so much anymore. Uh, now that people have a whole lot more hit points and everything else, uh, you don't see as much of an issue going in here. Um, but we would have someone sit here on the lever on the valve and we'd see people running up and we'd hit the valve and then people could jump up here and res. Um, or you could park a hireling here to pull the lever for you. Um, it's just a bunch of stuff that we used to do whenever we um, were doing this at level when the level cap was changed. But I am just going to run in. I am not worried about getting nuked. But when you run in here, um, living spells pop everywhere. If they ever do an epic pass on uh, an epic Lava or legendary pass on this, in the uh, this must be the belly of you the can cold. actually use ooze puppet to uh, control the living spells. Just gotta make sure your DC is high enough. But when the you got up here, you'd have the have the, this guy, the and you'd have the Dijin. And as you can see, there's these. There's all these elementals, there's methods. So you can see how crazy this can get if you're doing this on heroic at level and not paying attention to all the stuff that's beaten on you. So this end fight isn't as crazy on a level 32 as it would be at like level 19. Especially when we didn't have a bunch of past lives and other stuff. We're gonna kill this meat living meteor swarm though. This living firestorm. Alright, come up here. Open the lockbox. You have acquired the Kyber Dragon Shard Essence that he is. And I don't have. Oh, do I? I do have bells. We're gonna pop this. Alright. Again, just basic loot. Plus 16, plus 15 open lock, and then the augment slot. And see, the, these guys respawn. All the living spells respawn in, uh, respawn in. So. Okay. That is it. We got the essence. We're going to finish out. And we are going to go back into the wilderness area and see if we can find a rare. To see if we can get a gem.
in order to get into the final you quest. You have discovered the hidden entrance to the volcanic mine that Kihin spoke of. So I think there's a pair this way. Now, if you got the gems from Giant Hold, um, the Orchard, or the Desert, you can use those. Or you can get one from each of the wilderness areas out here, or Stealer of Souls. The flagging for Stealer of Souls is stupid. And it's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't run these quests. Especially Stealer of Souls. Because you have to rerun these every single time you want to run Stealer of Souls. Because you have to go, you have to get the, the, the Essence, the Dragon Shard Essence, you have to get the... Uh, A clear path leads up to the apex of nope, the volcano. The stench of sulfur hangs heavy in the this air. He's walking around. Let's see him. So there's a warforge that'll spawn out in this area. He is not here though. So we may have to come back and see if we can get a gem from him. Or we don't do Steeler Souls tonight. I think that's the other option. So all right, so that was Enter the Cobalt, which is not a super hard quest. Uh, the end fight, though, used to be super brutal, and it would beat us up really bad whenever we tried to do it. All right, Reinforced Ring. See, these are all level 20 items, and they're, they're 19, and they're not super cool. All right. Um, Osir KX's lair, or do we want to go to Suwami Gardens? Um, let's go do Osir KX. All right. Some of you guys might remember Osir KX. Um, Osir Kaix is the dragon that we saved in Misery's Peak. And now, we are going to go help him protect his children. I'm guessing Osir Kaix is Blistering he or she. And stinging snow whip through the valley. Alright, and there are, again are rares out here as well. And explore areas. One of the rares could just be right through this little area right here. And frost giants. These are what we're going to be fighting most of the time. Alright. Hey, Dahakon. Thank you for the follow. Alright. Let's see if we get... Oh, there's one. So this is one of the gems that we need. And so you need one of these from each of the wilderness areas. And you also need the essences from each of the quests. So we're able to get that first go, which is nice. Where am I, Rain Man? I am in Reaver's Refuge. I am in Osir Kaix's Valley. So this is an area that hardly anybody ever goes to anymore. And so that's part of the reason why I'm doing this series. I'm looking at quest chains that don't hardly ever get run. Alright. Um, I'm going to go this way. I think there's another possible rare up here. 
Cross giants and yes. their forces. Nice. Ready to hunt the white dragon. gem in that one but that's fine and so they have to be three separate gems and so you can mix and match from the six but you have to have three of them and they all have to be different and so we're gonna run this way remember right there is ice flinzers In such a long time since I ran this. I mean, it has literally probably been about 10 years since I've been out here running these quests. So we're just out exploring the wilderness areas. Oh, the planar gateway. A single portal has been opened, allowing the creatures from Rissia to enter the portal. All right, gotta close the portal. Chevrath portal fragment. Isn't this the best part of adventuring? Another Osiridar's gem, which you actually only can hold one. So you cannot stock up on those gems, which is kind of annoying, honestly. Um, I think if they allowed you to, if they made those non exclusive and they allowed you just to, to get them. A lot more people, well, I'm not saying a lot more people are going to run, um, are going to run Reaver's Refuge, but it makes it a whole lot easier to flag for Stealer of Souls, rather than having to get three gems every single time, and then go get all the essences from each of the quests, and then go run the Sword Jack quest. So because I'm exploring, I'm just kind of going around, but you can actually go down there as well and just go through that area to get to Ostrich Higgs' lair. But we're just kind of hanging out and uh, just taking it casually, having a good Across time. The valley, you notice a landing ledge that leads directly into the Dragon Sanctuary. Alright, so we're, we're actually going to go down here, because under the water, there's actually another explorer. A collection of frozen bodies are embedded in the ice below your feet. You can actually pop up anywhere where there's a break in the ice. And there's some frost spiders. Alright. Swimming in freezing cold water, wearing pajamas. Probably not good for my health. to the white dragon sanctuary is all right just we got all six cave. explorer areas shouting voices can be heard within all right okay this one i have uh not run in a while but as we go in um what we need to do we need to kill a bunch of frost giants and other things then we need to go through a maze find the um you hear a gruff boom. Find the babies for Ostracax. Dig faster, slaves. At this pace, the eggs will hatch before we can get them. There we go. Ah! 
I could probably run past all this stuff. This is not the best laid out quest. Running through all these uh, stone areas. The beneath your feet is cracked and worn. A well placed attack might very well break it. So you gotta get the giants to do the hard job for you. Which is break all this stuff. In order to get further down into the right. right hand edge of this ice wall looks thin and cracked. A well placed attack might force it to shatter. Find me over here. I'll break it for him. Pretty sure I have to look for a lever. And the air lever is randomly placed in these. hallways. Seems like that wants to break as well, doesn't it? Hey, come on this way, guys. I want to go down here. Come on. Thank you. Kind of like, um, whatchamacallit? Go sufficient. We gotta break all the ice barrier. Gotta be. A magical barrier stands between you and the dragon's nest. Alright. So now, I have to run all the way back up. Oh, hey, dude. Follow me. Come on, dude. Oh. Broke those ice walls. Nice. Alright. So now I can go this way. It's just one of... This, this is the... Another reason why people don't run these. Is it's random entirely where they put these levers. And so you're running around trying to find a spot.
not a whole lot of action over here. It's okay. That kicks me back out here. Let's go this way. Alright, some music because I got giants on me. Somewhere. There. Chest. Kind of running through the kind of areas I haven't been. Trying to queue target, see if there's any. Do you see how that giant just like randomly showed up right next to me? These guys. More. Oh, wait, there's more. All right, we're gonna go this way. Let's see if we can find this lever. All right, so now we got spit back out here, which I think is this main hallway. All right, yeah. if not. This is the annoying part. All right, Rain Man, have a good weekend. Take care. All right. Cool. Been through. We need to go back up. really annoying. I need to find where this lever is. All this stuff. Is Right up past me. Okay. 
Randomly placed lever. Mandatory. They mark lever spawns. Or they could be. Class four. Lever valve. Okay. Okay, so where are we at on the map? We're there. So the possible one. Okay. Where is the entrance? be one this way. We're gonna go check. says that's lever there and I get it. He'll be back this way. Or actually this way. Be here. Do not see it. Here, Do not see it. I am not finding it. This is really, really annoying. I've been through this whole area. Unless it's higher up on the map, and I shouldn't have fallen as far as I did. I think once you fall, you cannot go back up. All right, so. Can't get through here. This is all blocked off. Oh, wait, can I? There we go. It, I swear to God, if it's over here, I ran past that spot two or three times. Blast through this, too. And there's the lever. All right. The ground trembles beneath you. The barrier has been removed.
Okay. Now that we've found the lever and we are now able to get past that barrier. And that lever is required. You have to find it. So it's all always tucked back somewhere. I just have to remember where that barrier is. It's gonna be this way. Okay. That's it. levels All these different random directions. There it is. Okay. All right, past this barrier. I can pull this lever and get past this barrier. And that puts that barrier up, which means that those giants are not going to chase me. Alright, there's a chest. Check something real quick. Right. Right. treasure chest in the middle of your lair. The voice of the dragon chuckles. <laughs> Dinner and entertainment. Dinner and entertainment. Alright, so now I got a maze that I have to negotiate. This will drop me into an area where I gotta find the nest where the eggs are at. Once I have found the nest, Their bellows a hearty laugh. You have the last down. Okay. Check 
next. Loot. All right, so now go down this hallway. There's gonna be like an ice maze. And order that I'm gonna do it doing solo. I'm gonna do right, middle, left. And then middle, left, right for the second part. So we're going to do right, middle, left, and then middle, right, left, right, right, middle, left, and then middle, left, right. All right, so here's the maze. We're going to go right first. There's, there's three paths. Their assault on our CKX. Without your help, right. she will surely right. perish. middle all right there's the eggs we're on the right path a protective barrier surrounds several white dragon eggs embedded within the ice okay now we're gonna go middle There we go. Nice. Okay. All right. Now it is an all out sprint to get down to the dragons. Because what we need to do is we need to kill the giants and save the dragons. Or the dragon. Kill the giants and uh, save the eggs. All right, should be a hole to drop down. There it is. And all the fighting is gonna be way off to the left over here. It's the Oscar Kicks, it's already been hit. You don't wanna hit the dragon if you can avoid it. Awesome. 
hatred in his eyes until okay. his final breath. Now we have an option. All right. So we have an option now. There are two. Oh, Osric Hicks is a she. My apologies, Osric Hicks. I always thought you were a male. So here are the options that we have for Osric Hicks. We can just say we will help you. We helped you, and then that's fine. Or you can piss her off. Threaten to steal her eggs, and then we have to kill her and her mate. So, huh? So I apologize. I mistook you for a slave of the giant's weight. Now that I get a closer look at you, yes, there is something very familiar about you. I do believe we have met before. Yes, we met quite some time ago back on Corthos Island. We don't have time for reminiscing. I know why you are here. You need the Eberron Dragon Shard Essence to locate Sorjak. I've been ordered to hand it off to you. I will do this on one condition. You must leave me to protect my eggs. I will allow you to take the essence and leave with your life. Do we have a deal? <laughs> so we can kill the dragons. Or... So, yes, we have a deal. Or, uh, you've been a bad mom, and I'm going to take the eggs into protective custody. What is my alignment? Lawful neutral. Alright, I'm just going to say we have a deal. I'm not going to fight the dragons. Now we go over here, and then there is a. See, if we had killed the dragons, we get three more chests and some gold. But we didn't do that. We took the uh, the hero's way out and didn't kill Osirkaix. So we've already saved her once. We saved her a second time, and I don't see a need to kill. So, I believe we automatically get a toothpick, which is a Greater Giant Bane Masterwork Rapier, min level 12, in a level 17 quest. Uh, Eberron Dragon Shard Essence, uh, Tempest Rune of Protection, which you use to put on your Dragon Touched Armor, and Draconic Runes, which you use in the crafting as well. You have All right. Eberron Dragon Shard Essence. Return it to Herosin in Reaver's Refuge. And that is all of Osir Cakes's lair. And so now we're going to move on to Sawami Gardens and... The entrance to the White Dragon Sanctuary is just inside this cave. Shout Monastery the of the Scorpion, heard which still gives me PTSD. First time we did that quest, man. Four hours inside that quest is what we took it was absolutely not so inside there okay all right let's talk to rosin let's see what we get nothing interesting random loot gen stuff i can't believe we did it okay All right, so now we go over here, and we'll talk to this lady. All right, um, I'm going to use restroom real quick before we jump in here. I'll be right back.
Alrighty, let's jump into Sawami Garden. Mystery of the Scorpion's been bestowed upon us. And this is your typical undated area. Alright, I've already done all the explorers out here, but I have none of the rares. So we're going to see if we can find the rares. There are these shrines out here. Look pretty cool. Down they go! And get some quells. I thought there were some quells. I guess not. Because we want the rares so we can farm the gems. A lot of spirits out here. Here. It's a spawn point. The Down they go. Around innocence. If one of the rares can spawn here. Alright, I am not seeing the rare. I wonder if I should just go see if the beholder's up. So there is a doom sphere in here. Which sometimes is or sometimes isn't in the quest. Or show up shows up in the wilderness. And he can be found right here. There's nothing. There's Doom's here. We're going where to do what? <gasps> that sounds amazing! Okay. And gem first try. Got it. Okay, so now all I need is the gem out of Mount Race Alone. After I finish Monastery. Oh, 
Oh, this feeling of great dread rises out of this man's body and lifeless air. Nice one. There it is. Here's the rare. This is the spot I was looking for. Spot of disturbed earth. No gem, but another draconic rune. Alright, the entrance to the quest is actually way over here. Stumbling through the brush, you finally find the hidden entrance okay. to the ancient monastery. monastery of the Scorpion. On elite. Alright, so acquire Sybaris Dragon Shard. We got it. This old manufactory seems to be in various states of repair. A low hum reverberates through the walls. So. All right. Faint hum emanating from the sealed barrels becomes dead. So there are traps down this hallway. There's one. There should be a lever up here. More traps. More possible. Find the lever. More traps. There's a lever somewhere. Oh, those are nasty. I missed a lever somewhere. Oh, we're just go down this way. So what happens is here in monastery, you get a barrier up every time you enter a new space and when you enter a new space the barrier goes up and you have to kill everything in that area if the barriers go up they don't always go up they do often enough a little bit of damage there The humming lessens as you step on the pressure, indicating the opening of a door down the hall. All right, so that opened a doorway. We're going to explore this whole area. There's a barrier there. More drow here. Is it drow or dro? I always call it drow. That door's not 
there are rares that can spawn in here as well. Alright, I made a big loop. Let's go open this door. Or not. Door's locked. Door's locked. So he opened a door somewhere in here. Some more trap. Two different things that we stepped on. Let's see if that opened up doors. Let's go this way. Those two. Deafening hum subsides as the hermetically sealed barriers are lowered. All right. So now that should have opened the door on the opposite side. Is the door we got to go through. I'm not looking forward to that. All right, let's heal up. Okay, gust of so streams up through the shop. Here is what has to be done. There is reverse gravity in here, forces you up, and when it forces you up, you are against the ceiling. And as you can see, there are spike traps throughout the ceiling. What you have to do is you have to make it over to that side and turn that barrier. Turn that, that little floor tile right there. And once you turn that floor tile, you fall to the ground. So let's see, hopefully my reflex save is good enough that I don't get hurt, but I think we should be okay. I'm going to jump this way. So one of the things you could do is you could just kind of guide yourself. Around. Okay. The thing is you have to get to the other side. And I did not hit the lever. Alright, and down falls a gelatinous cube. Or two. Right. Luckily, they're not that high of a... So, to get that, you would actually have to be able to hit that there, that lever. That'll stop the gelatinous cubes from falling down, and it'll unlock that chest. But we didn't do that, so now we have 
just a bunch of things to fight. Get some puzzles to solve. around the outside. More claws to kill. I'll kill as much of this stuff as I can. I believe the claws respawn. Monk. Monk, little monk on monk violence. Sometimes there's a rare monk here, but I don't see Okay. Alright, so I gotta go find the lever to drop a this magical barrier. magical barrier puzzle. obstructs an ancient device. The Sybaris Dragon Shard Essence is well done. <laughs> Let's go find the lever. Probably this one. There's a lever that'll drop that barrier, and then I have to do. is killing everything. There's no reason not to kill. Floor puzzle. Faintly familiar voice call out, Fools, you get what you deserve for not aiding me. Oh crap. Mr. Monk. All right. Where have I not? This way. This way. This way. All right. So I did drop the first part. All right. 
now figure out how to power this. All right, let's see what the weakness is. Don't pray. All right, part one, lower the barrier. So this goes like this. And that. And see, this is all these respawn while you're trying to do this. Right. And this goes like this. Should drop the first barrier. With the barrier dropped, the okay. airflow violently floods Part into two, the room. Light the rooms. Okay, so now this turns. Now, that should be everything I need to do. All right. So now, here. all right, so there is a lever here that has to be pulled. you draws your attention to a passage leading out of the hallway. Here it's like Floor one. No. 
Gotta get over there. Oh, what a pain. Yes, I just solved. I gotta get the one on the left side. I'm missing something. The red one needs to be lit. What? Those should be lit. It means that I should get a blast of air from here, and I'm not. Alright, let's just do the full puzzle solve. Okay. I gotta get the last one because I gotta do that in order to get this air jet here, which will launch me up that way. So everything's this is gonna be like this. And it's it's brought up. This goes. That's Holy dude. Holy dude. Just piss me off. This. 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 This should do the whole thing to do the whole thing. All lit. Yep, they're all lit.
There we go. Upon lighting the rooms, a new well, that took some time. Alright. Now, we flip this. All that air. Oh, hey Sam, how's it going? No, I'm doing well. Just uh, motoring my way through Monastery of the Scorpion. Up and over. All right, so. There's a bunch of different ways to do this part of the quest. Um, there's going to be a bunch of scorpions that spawn here, and they respawn. And some dudes. Hey, Jurgle. Thank you for the, for the follow. Alright, Kevin, I will hydrate. I, ne I need to get my water. Should have seen that 11 minutes ago. I was so busy with that damn puzzle. All right, let me grab my water real quick. All right, Kev, I've hydrated. I'll hydrate some more. All right. Yeah, I, I, so, Jurgle, one of the things that I'm trying to do is explore quests that people never do anymore, and Reaver's Refuge is one of those. And so, um, that's what I've been doing tonight, is I've already done uh, Enter the Cobalt and um, Prey on the Hunted, or Prey on the Hunter, and then now we're doing Monastery, and... This is why I like going back to the wiki, because those puzzles drive me crazy. Um, I know Zealotry says that I get to do all the puzzles. Half the time, though, I'll be honest with you, I turn to the wiki. Uh, the wiki is such a great source for stuff. All right, so this end fight, there is a Scarrow in here. And there is also a floor puzzle, kind of like the light puzzle in... Um, And uh, one of the uh, the floor tile, the floor light up puzzles like you get in Shroud. There are two ways to do this. You can just go in and kill the guy. If you do that, you do not get the optional extra chest. And honestly, at this point in the game, it's not worth trying to kite the guy around. To have someone do the puzzle. Um, simply because... That extra chest just gives you like draconic runes and uh, the other runes you need to do the dragon touched armor. But dragon touched armor is just not worth the effort anymore um, until they do a legendary or epic pass over this content. I don't see dragon touched armor being uh, worth anything at all. Um, it's too difficult to get the ingredients and it's. Uh, just not worth the time and effort to farm all that. So, um, I'm not going to be getting the optional chest. The only thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to kill the guy outright. Um, I mean, so, Jurgle, I am level 32. Uh, that's part of the reason I decided to use this tune is I, I didn't want to run into any difficulties, like possibly dying, because um, I just kind of wanted to explore. Uh, these quests and and just kind of go through all of these I still need to get the gem out of Mount Ray Salon in order to flag for um, healer of souls all right so now these platforms here you will need to have cast Dancy ball and act fast as lightning to defeat Sanyasi I will save super high. All right? So now there's stuff. Now sometimes you can get stuff to like run over the top of this. 
and like solve it for you. And then he like insta dies. Um, I don't know if I can get him to do that. But it has happened in the past. Like he runs across it or stuff runs across it and just like randomly ends up. Uh, so, but I got enough DPS. I'm just going to DPS him down, even though he's got 63,000, 60,000 hit points. I am not really worried about dying. So I'm just going to beat him down and not even worry about the puzzle. So, it's just kind of up to you how you want to do it. Um, it might end up that these random spawns end up solving the puzzle for me. Um, you know, 10,000 monkeys, give them all typewriters, they're going to give you the phone book, right? Alright. So everything is dead. So if you solve the floor puzzle, then this barrier drops and you get that extra chest back. But I am just going to take the Sybaris Dragon Shard out of here. The Draconic Runes and the Elder Rune of Sonic now Resistance. The Dragon Shard essence and I'm going to finish your out. Return it to Reaver's and Ranch. we're going to head to Mount Race Law and see if we can get the... Uh, one of the two rares, either the Dwarves or the... Um, Stumbling through the, brush, the dwarves or the warforged, and if we can get one of those, monastery. then hopefully we can get the last gem that we need. So that is the plan. So we can go do Stealer of Souls. So for those of you unfamiliar with Reaver's Refuge, there are three explorer areas and three quests. One in each explorer area. And we've done all three of the quests. We've got the three Dragon Shard Essences that we need. The one thing that we do need, though, is we need three gems. And these are gems that are found in the wilderness from the rares. And so we need one more. This is the only one that we haven't gotten. We've got the one in Osterkeix's Valley, and we got the one in Suwami Gardens. Now we got to check Mount Ray Salon and see if we can get a rare out here to get that last gem. Now there are six gems in total. You need three of them. Uh, they cannot be the same. They have to be different named gems. The gems are found, three of them are found out here in the three wilderness areas in Reaver's Refuge. The other three gems you might have randomly come across in Giant Hold, the Orchard, or out in the desert. And those three gems can also be used to flag for Stealer of Souls. Now here's one of the big issues with Stealer of Souls. In order to flag for it, you have to rerun these quests every single time. Because you need the Dragon Shard Essences. that you get from each of the each of the quests along with three gems all right war forged oh he is up okay so there's the wandering war forged we're gonna go try to talk to him hey hey buddy can i talk to you for a sec oh, you want to hurt me never mind all right so hopefully up here on We'll get one of gems. There it is. All right, so there's the third gem. So we have all three gems. We got all three essences. So now we can actually go do Stealer of Souls. Awesome. Glad that didn't take as long as I it could have. Yeah, sorjek has got some weird stuff that he does uh, in this one. You gotta remember, though, he is a lich in this quest. Alright, thank you, Kin. I appreciate it. Alright, 
So now, let's go to the Eerie Forest. We're going to come up here. We're going to talk to the Storm Reaver. He's still contemplating life. Right? We beat him in a, in a raid, and uh, then we helped him in another raid against the Truthful One. And, you know, he's just sitting here chilling, contemplating all that he's done in his life. All right, I'm going to have him cast the fly spell on me. And then we're going to fly up. We. So there was a time when people would come in, get the fly spell here. Once they got the fly spell, they would recall out of here, go to uh, Meridia, go into Shroud, and then fly over the gates, over the barriers in Shroud, and loot the two chests. And then they would come back here. So they would just continuously loot the first two chests in Shroud by getting the fly spell on them, and then um, and then going and doing that. So ultimately, if I remember correctly, the fly spell does not last outside of Reaver's Refuge. All right, so Fear is now saying I, I can now give him the gems. We're going where to do what? <gasps> that sounds amazing! Now he's gonna go open the portal. And I give this guy the three dragon shard essences, and I am now flagged for the quest. So you got to do all three of the quests, get the Dragon Shard Essence at the end. You need to have three of the gems, three of the six, and then that will allow you to flag for this quest. Once you've completed this quest, then you must reflag. All right, and it has been a while since I have been out here in Eerie Forest. Uh, same thing, we're going to explore this area first before we actually do the quest. We're going to explore the wilderness area. Okay. There. See if we can get the rares and all the explorers. Remember, right? I think there was a rare over this direction. It's like a low rent version of the orchard. Alright, let's go over here. Check out this scare. The interior of this tree is melodic against a pool of your feet. Remember correctly. The blood begins to unnaturally gather around the sacrificial symbols. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Follow me. Alright, this is how you get one of the spawns. Or one of the rares to spawn. With your sacrifice, you have awoken the ancient Zen. It's Jim Varney! No! Ernest! Isn't this the best part of adventuring? Alright, now no gems drop out here. I completely forgot about that. We are just going to explore. Got one rare. Find 
fortune favors the bold. It's so funny you come out here and oh, I think. Legendary. Second rare encounter. Oh, open it quick. Kill the bat. Is this an explorer? Maybe? No? I'm just filling in the blank spots. That's the tree that we the thing. Yes. Um they have to be able to get into the wilderness area. Well, you can get into the wilderness area. Uh, but I don't think you can red door it. Um, if anyone in chat knows for sure. But someone has to have run it. In order to get the, uh, the pieces needed to open the quest. But again, it's been a really long time since I've been out here, and I could be wrong, but I think people need to have run them in order to run the quest. I think it actually won't let you in unless you've turned in the essences. You gotta have the gems in order to open the portal. But to run the quest, you have to have the essences. Pretty sure. Again, I am always open for correction if I happen to be wrong. Head back here. I'm pretty sure there's a bear back here. Or at least an explorer. That was remarkable. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. Uh, notice the barrier went up. Once I got to those things, the barrier goes up and then all the undead come after me. So you actually cannot escape. You have to kill all the undead. So this is the third rare. Yeah, so Sammy, the they can drop in uh, giant hold. They can drop in sands, and they can drop really in um, the orchard. Nothing good. It's all gonna be jump Legendary. Loot. Except for the draconic runes. Alright. Only got two or three of the explorers? Two. Let me look at the map. 
or have we not? Not gone right in the middle. Fortune favors the bold. I feel like there should be some. And this is like the orchard. This is like the edge of the map. A building looms over the hill as a single rope dangles from it holding two mutilated bodies. That is a nasty hook. Alright, so that's three. Kill this Umbro Gargoyle. Legendary! Actually, get over there and up there. I don't think so. There's the entrance. Um, I could, yeah, I don't think the wiki actually tells you whether or not you could. Explorer. And, yeah, Jurgle, the, you can access the old forums. Um, I don't know what the, the... The direct link is but to get to the old forums now it would be um forums-old.ddo.com unless they're not working right now they were earlier They're up. Stealer of Souls. Red door. Reach. All right, so, um, yeah, I don't know. Looking real quick on the thing. Did you go to, you went to, so it would be, forums dash old dot edo dot com so you go to that link and then you click on forums at the top and that should take you to the old forums okay all right um i'm not going to try finding these other two explorers this has got to be Sorjek is performing his ritual of summoning just beyond this gate. All right. Um, I actually need to check. Bloodletting tree, obscured graveyard, looming fortress. Find the eerie forest. So there's and find Sorjek's lair. All right, it's probably the obscured graveyard. Where is that? I got Bloodletting Tree. I got Purge the Darkness. I got Barney. 
zombie attack. Scared graveyard. Where the zombie attack is. Secured graveyard should be back. the entrance. Bloodletting tree on my left. We're gonna pass that. Letting tree. Alright, I can't. Anyways, there's one more explore area out here. Let's go get Sorjack out of the way. Alright, so we are flagged for Stealer of Souls. Alright, so now if I remember correctly, this quest breaks down into four parts. Exit. All right. So we got to stop. We got 60 minutes to complete this quest. Your sword jack doing his crazy thing. And we gotta hit all four of these things. The next sword jack is performed. The rune appears to be non-functional at this time. Alright, we're gonna go to this one first. That seems to be the rune that's working. The rune appears to be functioning properly. So we'll go there. I think that takes you to this takes you to the Mushrooms and gnarled roots stop the walls and floors of this cavern. So... This part shouldn't be too hard. On. Hey, B Jack. Hey, you can lurk all you want, man. I don't mind.
Just throw back to the days, man. Like I said, I came in on a You're really good at this. well over level tune. Okay, I'm gonna kill more. So that's what a trap going off looks like. Yep, that's what a trap going off looks like. On a caster, this would go a lot faster, but fine. Alright. I kill all the elders to get into that one room. Let's kill this elder. These are all CRT beats. All champs. That just connects further that way. You want to go back this way? Kill this guy. Giants are respawning. Right, so I knew that part. The Master of Earth is channeling his power to any sword with a sword. I knew you had to turn in all three gems to open the portal. But everyone in the party has to do it to open the portal. Right. Isn't this the best okay, part of the was Earth. Go back to Sword Jack. We should now get um Another rune that is lit up. It's gonna be this one. Probably air. No, it's gonna be ice. Or fire. Oh man, I forgot about the fire part in here. Uh, fire's third. I think ice is second. Yep. Okay. This last is air. The footsteps of giants rumble on the cabin floors. All right, so this part gets a little kind of a pain in the butt because there's air jets, and I am probably going to try to run past the air jets or try to abundant step past the air jets.
on. Jala, man. Dude. Oh, it stinks in here. Get our loot. We got 49 minutes left. Oh, open it quick. And more jump. How many inventory slots are full? Care? I don't care about any of this jump loot. We're just gonna move on. Alright, so this will take us back to Sorjax, and then I believe the next one is fire. Going to the plane of Hernia. Deal with some fire giants. So I really do wish they would change the flagging on this because it's kind of annoying, honestly. Lava Sorry. bubbles and boils around the few patches of earth. The searing heat singes your nostrils. Let's kill this thing to get more. There's the Jin everywhere out here. Oh, these are Freedy. Come on, dudes. Over here. Come on. Right. Yeah, I'm sure the old forums are full of complaints about it. It was always a pain in the butt to, to flag for it before. That's why people don't run it a whole bunch. You know, there's just this barrier to entry. Um, it's like a lot of the raids, they changed it where you don't have to reflag for them every single time, right? Um, why didn't they do that for like this. I mean, what sucks is you still have to reflag for ADQ every single time. I think that's something that they should be looking at is, you know, look at these flagging mechanics and see, um, whether it's worth it. 
I, yes, the Abbot does have rel has relevant loot. Getting something like, you know, Quiver of Alacrity is is a bonus. All right, so now I need to get all of the stupid runes in this room. I don't want to go swimming in the lava, dude. Alright, let's go get this room over here. We. Wow. At level, on elite, this is not an easy quest. You're really good at this. I mean, I'm sure people who have a bazillion fast lives, it might not be so tough. Okay. There. Hello, Mr. Freedy Guardian. Two raging fire elementals and then a Freedy Guardian. So I gotta get all these runes. Once I get all these runes, that barrier will that barrier will drop. So that was Fernia Deep Lava. Not necessarily a place you want to be. Alright, that's all the runes. Let's heal myself. I think this is the end point. That's... I mean, if you are not resistant to fire damage, this quest, this part of the quest, was always super tough. At level when level cap was 20. We're doing these on elite. Yes, Sammy, you can keep the uh, the things. Um, you can save them and turn them in. Uh, he doesn't check to see if you actually completed the quest that life. Isn't this the best part of adventuring? Oh, timer bypasses work on DQ2, huh? Okay. All right. Um... All right, last one is air, and then we get to go fight Sorjack. Hope everyone is having a great, great Friday evening slash uh, Saturday morning. Or wherever it might be in the world for you, whatever time it might be in the world for you. It is 9.30 p.m. here for me, so still fairly early. But this has been kind of a fun adventure, running through these quests. All right. The towering structure that looms before you causes an intense feeling of vertigo. Oh, down, oh, there's air elements and stuff you gotta fight. You gotta get all these rounds.
Alright, let's go the other way. So, uh, when I finish these up, I might head out to Shavarath and run Wrath of Flame and Weapon Shipment. Continue the uh, Forgotten Quests of video. If you're trapped, we could turn the jets on. Got it. Diablo 4 beta for the third time. You get another exclusive cosmetic. I I totally understand that. Um the other game I play a lot of is Call of Duty, and you guys have probably hear, heard me talk about it before. Uh, but right now there is a, a camo grind. There is a camo grind going on right now as part of a special event. And so I was... Or have been running that trying to get the exclusive camo for all my guns yeah you could turn off the you got to hit the all these runes all those runes will will turn off the, the uh the jets as you turn them off and then you turn them off and it'll open that barrier at the bottom and then you can hit that uh that rune down there to drop that last barrier before you come up here to fight this guy. Yeah, so what I did, Sam, is I went around the opposite direction. Remember when I got blown off? I went up the other pathway because what that did is it allowed me to um, turn off that jet. That was particularly troublesome. Pavon. And he heals himself, and that giant plus on the ground is this. Okay, so that is all four elements. There is random loot here. I don't know why I'm opening this chest. I don't need any of this. I'll take gems. Alright. Okay, so uh, when we go in here to fight Sorjak, um, his barrier will be down. The barrier that he had up around him while we were going to the different uh, things. And technically, you don't even need to fight Sorjak. And the reason why is because it's an optional. Technically, by finishing those four quadrants, I have completed the quest. And there's nothing further I need to do. But for the sake of doing everything in the quest, we are going to go fight Sorjak. So I'm actually gonna shrine first. Now's a good time to take a No, breather. I'm not gonna shrine. That'll get rid of all my key. So if I remember correctly, the way this works is when you kill Mephits, 
it drops his uh, special shield he's got around him. And he has CR 38. He is undead. Every once in a while, I get a sealed message for him. If I remember correctly, you can hit the rune and it does something. We stopped the ritual. Now we're just trying to kill him. Alright, look, man, this dude's had a rough go. I mean, we kicked his ass on Tempest Spine. And then he comes back as an undead giant. And here we are kicking his ass again. He's had a rough go. I'm also using Barovian hand wrap, so it does a little bit extra damage. These end. He's got regen. hit the rune? No, he's slowly going down. Once he gets those circles around him, then that means a method spawn. And if you go deal with the method, it'll stop him from regening. He's going down. This dude's got a rough, had a rough life, man. I mean, you serve under the Storm Reaver and it didn't work out, and you try to take over and you get your ass kicked on Tempest Spine, and then you get here, and you're undead, and you get uh, ass kicked again, and we are done. The truthful one will need to amass his undead draconic army without his help. And defeated again. Yep, my soul will carry on. Spirits of Serania, give the reaver my regards. Tell him we all serve our role in the prophecy of the end, like it or not. You elves do not comprehend what you yet face. I will leave these creatures. Are you bugging me? Go away. You're really good all right, at this. so I got three chests. I don't know if there's anything decent in any of these. Probably not. Let's take the gold and the gems. Um, I don't even know if there's any named items in here. Sovereign Rune of Spell Power. So again, those are things for the Dragon Touched Armor, which we'll go take a look at that right after we're done. Isn't this the best part of adventuring? All right. Okay, so we did Reaver's Reach in about three hours. So not bad doing it solo. And doing all the uh, wilderness areas. I can't believe we did it. But I do think I'm gonna go for these fifty draconic runes. My inventory slots are. What do I not need? I don't need those. All right. So now if I want to redo this. At least I'm flagged. It'll open up. I can't do... Okay. So I, he'll still open the portal for me because I turned in the three gems. 
So I can go into the wilderness area if I wanted to. But I couldn't enter Soul uh, Stealer of Souls unless I get three more Dragon Shard Essences to turn into him in order to do the quest. So that is one of the big issues with lagging for this. If you want the end rewards and stuff, you got to do all that junk. All right, so let's go over here. Um, this is where you craft your dragon touched armor. Okay, what kind of items can you trade for these draconic runes? All right, choice of different dragon touched armor, 50 draconic runes. Your choice of an eldritch rune, 50 draconic runes. Or if you get runes, you can actually turn them in here to get the essences to rerun the quest. All right. So um, how many do we have? I'm just curious. Where's my bag? Probably be in this one. Yeah. All right. So I have 37 draconic runes. I thought I just got 50. Thought I had 50 in there. Oh, there they are. Okay. All right. So uh, I have 87 draconic runes. And for 100, I can quote unquote reflag. Um, I can reflag, uh, for Stealer of Souls, you know, rather than farming the essence by running the quest, I can turn in Draconic Runes to get them. However, out of all those runs that I did, I got a total of 87. So not a bunch, but I did get a couple Eldritch Runes, a Tempest Rune, um, and so I could get dragon touched armor if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to grab any. And then you come over here and you craft these. Is there like, okay. So apparently there's a bug and there's like an invisible curtain right here, which is why I was having issues running through it earlier. So what you have to do is actually combine your runes in here with the armor and forge. This is like the old stone of change. Um, this is not the modern crafting type setup. So that goes to show you how old this is. Right, I don't need the boarding pass anymore because I have a bottle of mist. I don't need that. Okay. Um, but that just goes to show you how old this crafting system is is you have to literally put the stuff in and then crunch it like you had to do with the stone of change so it's just it's old school it's old school so anyways that was reaver's reach So that's what a trap going off looks like. So there are multiple ways to uh, get out of this area. There are a series of air jets. That you can take. If you wanted to. To get out right it was the end game grind TOD was the the big one because of all the uh, items you can get all right so you guys saw that I went from the water so that jet down there somewhere in the water to the one up on top of the top of this thing right here there's an air jet which brings you up to this air jet here 
and this air jet will spit you back out of the quest or out of the area um the other way which is now easier well i mean if you can there's multiple ways to get out if you don't have the fly spell you can get out using the jets they did add a teleporter which will take you back to i believe the marketplace So it's one of the cobalt that's down at the bottom. But that's not fun. This is more fun. I'm gonna drop right here and take the air jet. It'll Oosh. get better. Always does. And it brings you up here, and then you take one more air jet. Out of cyber attack. Alright, so there's four air jets to get out. You could talk to the the guy who can uh, spit you out back into the marketplace, or you can use your your handy dandy bottle of mist or your charm boarding pass or whatever you're using for your multi selector to to travel out. Um, or you could talk to Sorjak or not Sorjak Storm Reaver, have him cast the fly spell on you. And then you can fly up out of the area. All right, so this guy, how can you help me? Guide me back to land. For 5,000 gold, I'll make you breathe underwater like a true swaggin. That is robbery. I don't need your water. I don't need your air breathing. So I gotta come back down under here, talk to this guy. Yes, please take me back to Storm Reach. And then he'll take me back to Storm end up in the middle of the harbor um, but that was fun that's that was the first time in probably about 10 years that I ran Reaver's Refuge but we're gonna keep up the theme of forgotten quests and when I do the ones out here in Inspiration Quarter, or Inspired Quarter. One of the ones that I am going to do is this one over here, which nobody ever runs. And that is in the Demon's Den. There's a Merilith, a few Ifrits, and you have to coordinate everything and kill them all. And, yep, yeah, and Sam, that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm going for quests that people don't see very often. So Reaver's, Reaver's Refuge is old quests that uh, don't get run very much. Um, I am going to grab some new ship buffs before I head out to Shabarath. And so, uh, but there are a couple ways to get to Cyber Atoll where uh, Reaver's Reach is. Uh, the first one is you talk to uh, one of the guys outside by Sidoni. Um, those where the dragon lands, one of those folks, Arbin. And when you talk to Arbin, uh, then he'll tell you to go talk to the captain up on the airship tower in the marketplace, and that'll take you to Cyber Atoll. The other way to do it, if your ship has this, I want the far shifter to send me someplace, you can actually choose Cyber Atoll and Reaver's Reach, and that will take you out there as well. So there's a couple different ways to get there, a couple different ways to get out. All right, but we are going to go to the Plain of Shavara. And we're going to go have some fun. All right, now I got to remember where to pick these quests up. It has been so long since I've run these as well. I will find them. No, they're not up top. Aw, oh, shiznit. No! No! Ah! ah. No! I'm so dead. Oh, you don't die. You just teleport up to the top. Alright, so it's not these guys. I've actually run all the Shabrath quests. I didn't think I had. All right, let's do this. Quest givers. I think it's these two. 
Let's go this way. Just gone that way. Alright, that's the bank. That's the end. There's a little. There's a little bridge here. You can see that one. Enforcer's prison. So they got an Archon imprisoned in here. Um, I have never done it solo. So I don't know exactly what would happen. Right. You have to coordinate all three to Jin. So I would need to take someone with me. For sure. I couldn't do it all by myself. All by myself. I say you don't want to be all by myself anymore. All right. Okay. We are going to go do these two quests. Uh, what bit shipment does get run a little bit more than the other ones? Uh, I'm just going to drop off from fall back up to the top. Um, I am on Kenneth Jurgle. Might be hard to see, but I can actually move it. Move it up a little bit. Alright. We're down. Either way. Okay, there we go. Might be easier to see now. So I'm on Kenneth. I uh don't necessarily play here exclusively, uh, but uh, a majority of the time I am playing on camera. All right, so we are going to go do Wrath of Flame first. This is one that I have not done in a long time as well. So this should be interesting. Um, if you don't have the uh, altars from Shroud on your on your ship, nice one. there is one right here. It's altar subjugation, which I remember, if I remember correctly, is the first one. Before you lie the shattered ruins of some ancient culture that perished long ago. Adventures camp. Come at me, dog. You're really good at this. All right, this is the entrance to Wrath of Flame. You mean TOD? Do this on elite. It's level 21. Shouldn't be too bad. Alright, so this is Wrath of Flame. We gotta find out what the Silver Flame is up to. Ah, Shroud. Okay. The Silver Flame soldiers seem to be looting some recently killed adventurers. Their leader, an inquisitor, looks down from the ledge, ignoring their questionable behavior. What is going on here? Lightbringer. I've heard you've been attacking adventurers from Eberron. Why? These adventurers are corrupted and possessed by devils, and we have to cleanse them. 
And I sense such corruption in you. Corruption in me? What are you talking about? I swear I'm innocent. Well, so much for being nice to the silver flame. I'll tell you what, there are some pretty heavy themes of religious persecution in this game. And if you think about it, you have Purge the Heretics, uh, but we later find out what Gnomon really is, and it makes a little bit more sense as to why. You're free to go. You're free to go. Hello, boys. Yes, I'll have words with you. Why is the Lightbringer doing these things? Oh, he's been corrupted by the devils. So you brought the Silver Flame to help you fight the devils, and now they're following her orders blindly. Return to your home. All right. Oh, some Garoliths. Barrier drops. And we meet some more these guys. I guess we don't want to release the Hezra. No, I guess we did. Alright, let's come. Okay. Their souls are cleansed. However, there may be more of them. So, there's something I say that pisses my wife off whenever we do Lords of Dust. I have a tendency to go, their colons are cleansed. But there may be more. And she does not find that funny. I think it's freaking hilarious. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did she just say? This succubus has been impersonating Inquisitor Lightring at a She said Malicia will not be happy. What? what? You mean Malicia won't be happy? What do you mean Malicia won't be happy? I'm stunned? I'm stunned. That's not. Lightbringer is not who we thought she was, so so much for that silver flame leader. Defeat the she devil, yes. The flame cometh, purge the wicked. That's it, no more Mrs. Nice Girl. Just let her go. I mean, she's at zero hit points. I think I just go. Gotta find and free the true Inquisitor. Right, this doesn't look creepy at all. Where do I want to go? This way? What do you guys think? Oh, I've been this way.
I go around a corner? Dead end. It's the entrance. I got I got bamboozled. She made me freak out and go the wrong direction. the succubus double you help no let me go this way maybe all right i guess the way i wanted to go nation let's release this one. yes I'm sure oh guess what they all just kind of hang out great Another surprise double. Ooh, there we go. Now we got Malacia. Hello, Malacia. just will not go away. Alright, where's the chest? Here. Done. Alright, let's see if we get the feather hat. No, we did not. Alright. That's it. Uh, this thing is just bugged. She will not go away. Man, I really pissed her off. You know, you're pretty and all, but I just don't swing that way. So, uh, let's uh, go ahead and finish out. Okay. All right. So that was Wrath of Flame. Now we're going to go do weapon shit. I'm going to recall and then step. Now weapon shipment's going to be interesting. Um, we're going to do the option. And see if we can get a mad loot. Hey, Calvani, how you doing? Haven't seen you for a while. We are going to do weapon shipment, do the optional, and see if we can get the mad loot. 
So these two quests out here in Shavarath, these are not part of the flagging for uh, Tower of Despair. These quests are specifically standalones. This jutting ridge of stone is the Devil's Spine. It runs along a deep chasm, forming a natural shield against Archon attack from the south. Oh, very nice. I am running some forgotten quests tonight. We're going to do this on Elite. Man, this is going to be rough soloing these. But it's going to be different. I think it's going to... If it works the way I think it does, the waves are not going to be as intense as if you have a full party. That is my thought process. I could totally be wrong. But um, it has been, again, a hot minute since I've run these quests. Okay, let's go, Liella. Lead the way. Um, I'm 32. I'm not worried about it, Calvani. These are only min level. This is level 21 on Elite. Yeah, I, I, I should be fine. Come on down, boys. Come on. Dude, don't make me come up there. Down, you stupid Orthon. Easy, please, man. I beat you up. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, there are two ways to go. So I gotta protect you. Ah, uh, this one's a monk. So I'm just punching stuff. I know there is an optional in here, I think. We get to a certain point. I'll be able to split off and go do the option. Yeah, so this is a monk, uh, level 32. you up, lady. I'm going to go do an optional. I'll be right back. The optional is this way. I have not tried a pure monk shuriken thrower. Okay, so I got to go finish that before I can do the optional. So let's go fight a bunch of waves of devil. Welcome back, dear. We did all of Reaver's Refuge. We, we is me. Yes. I get, no, I'll probably Sunday. All right, let me talk to her. Me. 
Alright, Captain Right hold. But no, I've never I've never done a, a shuriken throwing monk. I have a shuriken here. Um I just don't use it. Oh look, another succubus. Yeah, I'm not too worried about fighting these guys. Ugh, nice one. Nice one. All right, she's got her protective bubble. Let all these guys come at me. This is just going to be a slog for all these guys. I'm not too worried about it at 2200 hit points. Come on down, boys. And she's safe in there, so... I did. I said we because the chat came along with me for the ride. Um, there may be a way to get shurikens to throw faster. I'm, I am just not, I've never been a thrower, I've never played a thrower build. That is one I've never been, never been on, so. When it comes to that, I am the wrong person to ask questions about thrower builds. That is not something I've ever played. Alright, now we got our Hellhound. No, such cute doggies. They want to eat my face. I have cleave. I gotta have cleave. Hello, doggies. Yeah, I, I've i never been really big into throwing builds, it's just, I don't know, it doesn't seem like that much fun for me. I like ranged. Come on, guys. I mean, throwing builds were, were big for a while, when Thunderholm Thunderholm came out and get a bunch of four poles and other fun stuff. Yeah, you could use Zen Archery and uh, other stuff to do some stupid things. You would have many shot or dogs or doggies. Come on, doggies, come on down. Let's have a party. Come on, you stupid. I'm up here. And not want to be up there. And down here, so we can nuke all these guys. Spells going off everywhere. It's devil invasion! 
So imagine this with six people in your party and all these guys just going nuts. Like you get a whole bunch of junk. Extra stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure Shiradi's on a on a thrower would be good. I use Shiradi on all my um, ranged builds. Really, just depends on, uh, on what you want to do. I mean, like I said, for for throwers, I'm not proficient enough to answer questions about it or even speculate on builds. I don't know what would work, what doesn't work anymore. I mean, for a, a while, monctures were a big thing. So the item out of here is a bobble. The mist is mysterious bobble. Oh, hello, ladies. Come for a piece of me, huh? It's a small piece, yeah. Bring it on, ladies! Come on! Let's party! Oh, I'm surrounded by women. Oh, now I'm surrounded by Orthons. That is less exciting. I'm surrounded by everything. Hello. Are we getting the caller collapses in exhaustion? Hopefully the Kanith weapons will arrive in a few moments. Oh. Gorgeth. And a can of Titan. What in the plains is that thing? So you actually don't have to fight any of this? Unless it attack you. But that thing will actually take care of take care of them for you. So might take a little bit of time. But I'm gonna start. I don't wanna sit here all night. Okay. Three chests. See if we get a bobble. Bobble's bound to account? Bound to character. Can't remember. Oh, open it quick. No bobble yet. One last chance. No bobble. Alright. Okay. Uh, Lilith, it's been fun. Enjoy. Uh, I got some other work to go do, though. Alright, so, this is something that never gets run. People finish that part of the quest, and they call it good. I am gonna go do 
this optional, which is find and destroy the devil base. There is a weapon in here that if you find it, is like the ultimate bard weapon. It is called the Mad Loot. L-U-T-E. It is a great club in the shape of a loot. This hidden forward base is surprisingly well Destroy the assault portal. It's a great club. Uh, actually, it's a, it's a great club. So it's a it's a big. Club. Portals. So again, this is just another one of those things that uh, doesn't get seen very often uh, because people just don't do these options. And this optional, you actually have to do it after the quest ends. I feel like I've missed it. I missed something somewhere. Trapped. Yay. Dead. So that's what a trap going off looks like. Well, this is exciting. That's what that does. You just wait to see which ones are on fire. And then once you see which ones are on fire, you just move the other direction. Lever. A horned creature appears. Roar its indignation of It's Travis. It's Travaxis. We'll just call him Travis. This is Sulu Lamati's little, little brother. So it's Sully's little brother. This is dead. Zero XP. This devil installation is doomed. All right. Let's see if we get it. Fingers crossed. Isn't this the best part of adventuring? I'm not going to re-roll for the mad loot. Thought about it, but I'm not going to re-roll. So, um, 
because I didn't get it, but I want to share it with you guys. So, this is what the mad loot looks like. This is the mad loot. It is a giant, it's a great club, two-handed. Um, and so, I, it it's just cool. It's it's something that I just I find funny, and you have to be a bard in order to wield it. But here's the stats on it: um, spellcasting implement plus fifteen, plus five bonus, metal line shrieking thunderclap resonance eighty four, spell pen sonic lore five, proficiency great club. So it gives you proficiency for that specific weapon. It does drop in the end chests also. Um, and then a purple augment slot. So it is a cool little a cool little thing that uh, you know a lot of people don't see unless they're running weapon shipment. And if they do see it, then uh, they're like what the heck is this? When am I ever gonna use this? Um, it used to only drop in this end chest though. Or in this chest for Travis. Um, that's just how it was set up originally. All right. I'm gonna recall. Okay, so we have done all of Reaver's Refuge. We did. Um, Reaver's Fate, not Reaver's Fate. We did uh, all of Reaver's Refuge. We did these two quests out in Chevra. Let's go talk to these guys to get our end rewards. I can remember where they're at. They're down there. Mystic Haze Shastian. It's a nice name. Sounds kind of hippie-ish. And Guster Miles. Illusory Necklace of Physical Resistance. 23. I'm level 22. Alright. All my inventory slots are full. Of course they are. I don't need them. I think what we need to do is sell some stuff and then think about where we want to go. Do armor pawn. This allows you to sell all your armor crap. Vendor, banker. I even think there's a general vendor. All right. The refectory. I think this is where the spirit binder tavern keeper. All these Yugoloth. Okay. We'll head back. Uh, 
let's go to go to salt marsh there's like a portal right there Then I can step out of here. All right, I'm trying to remember. Maybe we'll do one. Let's head out to Dreaming Dark. Harbor. I'm got to Dreaming Dark and give Raiding the Giants of Vault a go. I'm going to do Eye of the Titan just so I can get out there, and then this might be it for tonight. So this quest here, um, for those who haven't done Dreaming Dark, this is the quest you have to do in order to get out to the rest of the Dreaming Dark chain. And so this is basically a rehash of the Storm Reaver fighting against the Hear a disembodied thought. Master, the Titan's memory playback proceeds. It will soon show us how the giants stopped our ancient invasion. But there is a problem. Somehow, mortals have also accessed the memory. Kill them? Yes, I understand. The memory warps as dream creatures manifest themselves. They attack. Now I gotta kill all these dreams. All the Warforged Titan on its last mission. Alright, so this is the quarry fighting against Storm Reaper. Dreaming dark as you know. You don't. I'll kill you all. Yes. Yes it is, Sam. This is that quest. This is not considered an epic level quest because it's base level 19. Let's go. All the robots. So you can just let the Warforged Titan do its job. You don't have to get involved. I'll kill the giants for you. Chop you up, and then I'm gonna smash you with my other hand.
Yeah, so you generally let the giant do their thing. Let the Warforged Titan run out. I mean, it is kind of a cool visual impact. You know? Giants should come from that direction over there. A giant's the Storm Reaver, but different. This must be the ancient Storm Reaver of the long ago fallen giant empire. Come on back. I need your help. Go get him. Mr. Storm Reaver. Come on, man. You gotta go out there. You gotta fight him. I might have bugged it. Not a lot of people do the delirium quests. Yeah, see, I think I bugged it. Now the Storm Reaper won't die. There we go. Okay, now we kill some quarry. It seems these dreamy dark creatures are determined to kill you. Oh yeah, they're out to get me. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm like way over level for these quests, so. These quests are in what you can kind of call as like a dead zone for quest level. It's like 17 to 19. Those level quests are not run a whole bunch. I mean, there are some that are. And then there's some like this, uh, like the ones out there in Shavarath. Or Reaver Refuge or 17s. And those just don't get run over. Um, some people still do the Delirium Quests. Those are on my list of ones that don't get run very often, though. Especially the 
second and third chains. All right, now that should be two. Right, yeah, these quests don't do as much for leveling as other ones do. I just thought there's one up there. It's not. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Oh, there's the two. Something for someone. Yeah, I mean, these used to be, like, the quests you ran to level. But they just, they're just not. They're, they've been outpaced by all the modern content. Come on, Watcher of the Dark. Watch your dreams. Okay. Dream Reaver. Alright, so I'm gonna open this chest. Um Come on, show yourself. I'll open this chest. It has a chance of uh, spawning a Zakosian Ear Dweller. Which I don't know how many people have even seen Zakosian Ear Dwellers. We'll see. Ooh, open it quick. No, it'll it'll pop out of the Titan rate, the Titan quest. Oh, nothing there. Okay. And we'll get some minor XP. Nope. Alright. And, and that opens it up for us to go to Dreaming Dark. Or the island where all the Dreaming Dark is. We're going where to do what? <gasps> that sounds amazing! Yeah. I'll take the boat ride. The Isle of Forgotten Dreams? Sure. Sounds like a cool place. I mean, as long as it's not the Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Right, so then there's three quests out here that you need to do in order to flag for Dreamy Dark. We are going to go do the first one. Present of the Past. on Elite. With any luck, these caverns lead to the giantish temple you <laughs> Sorcerer. See, he's wearing a hat. He's got a worry on his head. I don't know if you guys saw that purple thing. Come across another inspired sorcerer. Um, if you see the purple thing on top of his head, that is what is controlling him and making him quote unquote inspire. Thank <laughs> you. 
See this dude? Look at his head. Got that little bug thing on him. He's inspired. Like this giant bug sitting on his head. Yes, we just were in this area in the other quest. Another inspired guy. Alrighty, so we're gonna kill this light bearer first. They've already smashed the we're gonna grab the interdiction lens frame. But one thing we're gonna do after we kill all this stuff is we're gonna go do the optional. Which is another optional that people never do. We used to do it because it used to give you really good XP. For running into a room. Stop healing yourself. Serper of Dreams. Spawn your portals. Come on, dude. Can't touch me. A dream crawler? Down just like I took down your brother. You might be the watcher. You might be the usurper. I'm the killer. Right it. Grab the interdiction lens. Right. Loot. And we're gonna head back. Because through here is a whole nother area people usually don't as you step deeper into this so it's a core forged base that's probably why they usually don't run. it's a core forged base and you come down here to see what's going on so you could see all the or Forge Titan stuff. All the, the parts are all busted up and laying around. Run up here. This looked familiar. This was in the other quest as well. This is that area where we entered in. The part where we came in and then we watched the War Forge Titan start walking down. And we came down this ramp. Is a really big green color just hanging on the wall. Here, a portal. 
We're just gonna explore the area real quick. Nothing over here. And there's this whole other area that a lot of people don't explore. Before you is the very thing that Chana de Canada hopes to find on this island. An intact Warforged Titan. Ooh. Nice. I pulled the lever. Look at it go. You are mine to command. Dude, he is shiny. Look how shiny he is. And new. He's ancient. All right. And that is the optional in that quest. One that is very rarely, if ever, run. Right. Go back, turn this in. blood all right flaming memories now you have an option here you can do this one or you can do this one this is the one most people do. This is reclaiming memories. Oh, that's mining for ancient secrets. I think I passed reclaiming memories. Yeah, reclaiming memories is right. Oh, I did reclaiming memories. All right. It says I can do this. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to do this. Uh, it, this quest is a level 19 quest. You can only do it on solo. This is raiding the giant's vault. And so basically you go in, you gotta do a bunch of jumping, there's traps. And, uh, get to various places. I've only ever done this quest once or twice. So, the we'll see how this goes. Way down the shaft. Determined to reach the giant's vault, you release the rope and drop down into the unknown. Go all the way down. Muddy footprints lead down the corridor. Get moving and disarm those traps. The path to the top is littered with deadly traps. So that's what a trap going off looks like. Wow. Wish I had palm. be a way to get up there without having to we'll recover it's totally fine yeah we'll recover Listen. we're gonna do something smart we're gonna go here we're gonna stay off the central path
We will never mention this again. A sturdy growl made door blocks the way. Not even the most skilled rogue could pick its intricate lock. Ready? Oh, ah. Yeah, this is one that I have not done on Rogue. Um, trying this on a favorite soul. I think if I get up here, it'll be okay. Come on. Nice if I had fall. Problem is, as soon as I like this goes away and I start running. Trigger trap. And jump on top of these. Are there levers? Yeah, I was looking. Yeah, well, I'm trying to climb the walls. I'm not doing so good. Good job. Oh, there's runes? Where are the runes? Oh, there's a rune up there. I don't know how to get up there, though. Like that, like that. Does it feel semi accomplished. If I can get to the top of that, there's a room there. Should be able to get. One there, one there. Five. One. Oh, 
another rune. That's fine. So that's what a trap going off looks like. Oh, it was semi successful for a hot minute. Almost got there. Mario. Ever mention how much I hate playing Super Mario? All the jumping. Run in. London step for the win. I gotta get to that last one. This is another reason nobody ever runs this quest. It is a real pain in the duty. So this is another reason I don't do the jumpy thing in which we call it. That one quest. Uh, Maze of Madness. Because I always, 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 always end up falling on that stupid quest. Um, this is just a 
different type of opportunity. Is it a different type of opportunity? Is it really? I don't think so. I just gotta figure out how to get the last one. Try the other way. Alright, so when you say try going around the other way, are you talking about boards? Not that way, but that way? I guess the question is, and it's like the logical starting point, right? Here. But I get up here, right? And then I have an option. I can go either direction once I'm up here. But I need to be up there. All right, so go around the wall this way. That's what I'm hearing. We'll try to go this way. Does it make sense to go this way? Ah. Very smart. Okay. So now I'm going to fund and step to this one right here, or at least that one. And then that should get me to that last room. There we go. Is that, is that all of them? What is in that pathway over there? Maybe I want to go check that out. A metal farm patrol. Lone warrior's armor. Okay. Reused, runes done. Anything else I need to do? Find the other lay other lever to disable traps. Where is the other lever? Do I gotta go higher? Don't tell me I gotta go higher, that would suck. Seen that they're open. Here I am. I'm like tilting my head trying to look. It's right there. It's right there. That one. Well, I have not gone in that tunnel right there. Right there in front of me. So, I'm going to bend and step back this way. And here. And then a bend and step right here. Our gloves. With the levers this way. Metal clanks against stone somewhere nearby. Go.
now find the key that opens the unlock. Something glints at the bottom of the deep still pool. There's a pool key. God, I can't target the key. All right, we're getting there. Cover the giant's aspect. Crystal. Find the key to the chest. All right, so that should have turned off all of the stuff, right? Okay. I thought I had the key. Is that the key to the door? Key to this door over here. It is, right? Stone Golem Hunter. That's cool. Oh, that was a little bit of a jump scare. I was not expecting that. Whoever came up with the idea for this vault needs to be shot. aspect crystal you have been searching for. I'm not gonna find an exit out. My exit is this finish. Yes. I think I spent enough time running around in there. I don't know about you guys. Trying to figure out where the hell I was going. Alright, Merc Letter. I can't believe we did it! I can't believe we did it either. What were we thinking? Alright, talk to Chana. Jump up here. All right, we are now flagged for, for Dreaming Dark. Did I just finish the chain? You could probably just finish the chain. Finish up the chain and nerf so my ship. This is the much vaunted plane of nightmares. Unlike your previous dream experiences, it appears you aren't physically here. The world feels heavy at this end of the garden. 
A shimmer in the air seems to hold you down. Yeah. Could there be a way to remove this effect? Yes, you gotta kill me. Alright, light gravity. The shimmering effect to the south has changed. Two jumps. Nice. I am not going to do the optional. There is an optional where you can unlock doors and get keys. And then there's an optional chest you can grab. Um, ultimately, you end up there in those rooms. But I've also not done these for a while. You have to like come over here and there's a tower, you jump up the tower and then you gotta unlock the door, right? So, but we will explore that another time. He's got to jump up, like, up to one of those towers or something. Oh no! Well, this is going to toss me back. So the other quest that is out there is uh, mining for ancient secret or mining for ancient secrets. Uh, so the solo quest that I did, creating the giant's vault, replaces mining for ancient secrets. So you can do that instead of the other one. And so that flat, it's, either way, you still end up being flat. Getting that I'm heavy, I need to lose some weight. Dream stealer. Oh wow, a whole new round. Bring it, guys. Did you guys see that? I caught the side and I fell. I am doing not good. I should have plenty of jump.
how do I... I don't have any jump cakes or jump potions, I don't think. No. Well, it's plus two bonus to all characters. just can't make the jumps. Why am I getting... I'm just not jumping to the right ones. Just come up here. I'll smack you in the face. If you really want to. Since I head over, it's heavy gravity. Here, not heavy gravity. Is it because there's dudes? Well, come here, guys. Come here. Come here. That was fun. I look forward to working with you in the future. No. I got heavy gravity on the platform. A couple of dudes are here. Alright, come here. Come here, Dream Scourge. A little closer to the Dream Scourge. Okay. Well, that makes life a whole lot easier for everybody. Just kill some stuff, and you're good. Alright. We made it that far. Dream Crawlers dropped from above. <laughs> Twelve more dream crawlers to kill. Things are worse than face spiders. Alright. Those. Six. Yep. 
<laughs> like mortal creatures, green crawlers cannot sustain their concentration after having their bodies pulverized. The barrier they erected is now gone. I can't keep my concentration when I my body gets pulverized either. Who's can't? I killed you all. Come on. Look, I got a date in the amphitheater, okay? I know who I am. We're gonna talk all about me. Hushed whispers come from the elevator theater at this amphitheater. What have you stumbled into? Yes, I face the Dreaming Dark Council. Wait, I recognize the mortal. Is that Rough and Tumble? Rough and Tumble, the same Rough and Tumble who destroyed Sorjak twice? We crushed the Demon Queen Laylet? Reached the Vault of Night and slew the Dragon Vela? Oh my god! Now they're freaking out. They don't know what to do. Get you, buddy. Okay. Oh, I'm scared. All right. Do not need to shrine. Okay. Now you step in here, you get four dudes around you. A tremendous psionic voice booms in your head. You are the one who has alarmed my minions, so... You're Bad ugly, bad. dude. Dream stealers, prove yourselves to me and destroy the mortals, or I shall consume you myself. Right now? Okay. Um, I'm in the middle of this fight. Oh, I should be fine. Hold on. No, I'll be right back. I shouldn't die.
Alright, sorry about that. Go back. Let's heal thyself. I hate the fact that they're up there in the air. It makes it a little bit more difficult to uh, take them out. Need a better throwing weapon. Of course, of course I missed it. At least I don't have too far to go. Oh, my jumping tonight is horrible. At least you don't die. Because that would suck. Uh, I could not jump. Soul of cruelty. Not tonight. When I come down. So we got to just stay on him and keep beating him until he dies. It's just for the extra Alright, he is almost. 
and dead. We win. We win. Yay. Go us. The interdiction now comes to life. It sends out a wave of blinding light. Outside, the nightmares wail in despair as the connection between this plane and Eberron is wrenched apart. Your home is now safe from the dream dark. All right. So this is where you go if you want to crunch up your hand wraps and stuff. So crunch up your pieces. Or Forge Dawson. This is where you go to upgrade all of the items from the Path of Inspiration quests. Or Forge Dawson upgrade. Which isn't even as great as it used to be. Some of these things just look super cool. I've always liked the way light and darkness looks. Uh, terror, I still like that weapon. Regalia of the Phoenix. Hey, Drodden and Exarum, thank you for the follows. So, um, this is where you come if you decide you want to upgrade any of your stuff from Path of Inspiration, uh, which we haven't done. But that will be upcoming soon. But um, yeah, we win. We got some some loot. So there is an optional that you end up over there. There's another chest, uh, but there's three things you have to do. Um, find the keys and all that stuff. There's optionals that require extra Mario jumping, and I just don't feel like doing extra Mario jumping. So. All right, let's go turn this in. Um, now, if you run Dreaming Dark three times, this end quest, you will receive an Ion Stone. Um, I believe they're at random, but that is what people do. They'll come out here and they'll just run this over and over in order to get their Ion Stone. Can't believe we just did it, Calvani, that I disappeared for a brief minute and then came back. We didn't die. I just got too many hit points. Alright. Take it in. Crystal Shard of Dreams. Six of those. Finding the Dream Forge to get a Crystal Disk of Dreams. So I'm actually just going to take that just to have it. And, um, let's just do this. Salt Marsh, go back to the airship. And, airship. And get some ship buffs. Alrighty, it is 11.30, I've been, wow, a little over 5 hours and 10 minutes gone. Oh, the sentient jewel, yeah. Alrighty folks, well, so this was the first session of uh, Forgotten Quests of DDO. So the quests that we did this evening, we did all of Reaver's Reach, which included Prey on the Hunter, Enter the Cobalt and um, Monastery of the Scorpion, and then we did Stealer of Souls, and then we went to Shavrath and did Wrath of Flame and the Weapon Shipment, and then we did the Dreaming Dark, so uh, the Titan, and then. Uh, Reclaiming Memories, we did Raiding the Giant's Vault, which is the one quest that's a solo quest, level 19, out in Dreaming Dark that nobody ever runs, um, unless they're a sadist or a masochist, depending upon how you look at yourself. And then we did Dreaming Dark. And so I am actually going to be 
wrapping it up here for the evening. Um, it's been fun. I ho hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the quests that don't get run very often. And, uh, you know, and some of the optionals that people don't generally do. And it was one of those uh, that I'm, I'm glad to do them. And I'm going to be doing more. Um, I think, Sam, you asked about the delirium chains. I might be doing some of those. Uh, it depends on how much of a masochist I actually am. But there's going to be more in this series of, of streams uh, doing these forgotten quests. I still need to do Threnel because there's parts of Threnel that people have never seen. Uh, and I, I want to make sure that people see you know, all the different things that DDO has to offer, not just the usual quests that everybody runs. And so... This way, people get a sense of what is outside the usual stuff that is done. So, that is my plan. Let us see who is on. Um, there is Crazy Cat Lady, who is trying out some DDO, Wood Elf Ranger. Uh, Plank Eye. Player lease. Let me see. Uh, let's give me one quick sec. Let's see. Crazy Cat Lady is just starting out. She's in Porthos. And she describes herself as a 60 year old that just loves playing her games Elder Scrolls Online, Star Wars. The Old Republic, Skyrim, Dragon Age, Guild Wars 2, and Oblivion. So I think we might raid over to Crazy Cat Lady um, because, you know, we have a cat. My wife's not a crazy cat. Uh, my mother in law, however, is starting to become a crazy cat. We just don't have extra cats. Though. So I think we're going to raid over there. And you guys can wish her a a good stream. And uh, we are going to call it a night from there. One second, it's a great going. Um, I will be streaming it on Sunday morning from DDO stream. It'll be well Sunday morning my time, 8 a.m. Uh, Hawaii time. It'll be 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it'll be the last one we do before Hardcore starts, and then I think we'll be starting on Hardcore um, when that time rolls around. And uh, should be a good time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the evening uh, seeing some of these old quests. And uh, we will talk to everyone later on. She's got numbers in her name. Makes it tough. Alrighty, folks. Raid is starting. Crazy Cat. No, it's Crazy Cat Lady. And I put two A's in cat. Maybe this just wasn't meant to be. I got it this time. Alrighty, folks. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. If you're around Sunday, we'll see you Sunday morning. Uh, if not, enjoy your time. Right? Mahalo. Have a great weekend. And we'll talk with everyone later.
Wow. Okay. That's kind of bogus. You have to be a follower for a week before you can chat. I guess so. Alright. 